in the previous session we created an elevator speech now let's see if i can create a powerpoint presentation from the contents of my elevator speech so let me copy my elevator speech remember i chose the second option i am selecting it copying it control c and i will say create a powerpoint presentation with the below content okay so let's click this and see what it comes up with it is giving ideas for us on how to create a powerpoint presentation So it has given outline for creating eight slides okay based on what i provided it starts with title slide introduction it discusses the problem discusses the solution it discusses the success story talks about the benefits contact information is important right and finally there is a closing slide where you recap the key points okay let's go for the second option by clicking regenerate response see what we get you see here it has come up with uh, interesting outline areas right better than what we had okay in the previous version it only talked about some basic outline okay and some details in the second version it's slightly more detailed right so that is the it's improvising okay and shall we try one more option regenerate response okay we'll try one more option right this is even better it's giving subtitle remember subtitle was not there in option 1 and 2 okay it is giving us bullet points that's the kind of thing you will create in a powerpoint right it is giving bullet points so you can go copy them and use it okay it says you know this is an important one end with a call to action such as encouraging them to visit the cpod ai website or follow the company on social media so this is what we want right in the first two option bullet points were not there you know it only tells how you should construct the different slides the, the first option if you see had how many slides eight slides second option five slides you know it is elaborating a bit more the third one you know it gives even the bullet points right that are needed in your powerpoint presentation so this is even better right so as things stand now i like the third option now let's see if the fourth option is even better okay let's click to the fourth option uh, that is regenerate response and see what it comes up with okay it may come up with something better or you know it may not be better it depends okay so we have to wait and see you have to compare and contrast the process of comparing and contrasting should be done by us right by human beings okay so which is why it is important to understand that open ai chat gpt it's not going to replace humans okay it's going to help us be better that is it is going to improve our productivity so with improved productivity we can do multiple things we can do better things right so in my opinion the fourth option looks much better right so it talks about you know additional bullet points that were not there okay uh, the 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 uh, third option had what how many slides let's go back and check third option has got six slides okay uh, the second option uh, uh you know five slides 
so based on what it has provided uh, the the fourth option looks better to me right so all i need to do i need to copy this go to powerpoint and complete right please understand it's not going to create powerpoint slides and give it that option is not there maybe in future it will do but that kind of option is not there okay so it has given the outline it has given the title for your slides it has even given the bullet points that you require, require for your slides this is wonderful right 